Hi, so I put up a video last night that I ended up taking, I didn't take it down. I have made it private and I'm just waiting to see if I'm going to uh, make it public again. I felt like there were some things in it that were so strong. Honestly, I felt like I was putting a big target on my back. <laughs> and I just went through a week of attacks. So I, uh, and I don't know if it needs to be said to my channel because my channel already knows. Like the last two videos I did pretty much cover it and I don't have to mention any names or, uh, you know, go into it. All, all I can say is that the date setting for July 17th has uh, a lot of red flags about it with regard to the people who are promoting it and the people who are flocking to it. Um, the Grace community has known better on this one. May 14th, we were all legitimately interested in it at different levels. Uh, but it produced a lot of bad fruit. Um, now, this one is producing bad fruit before it even comes about. Um, attacks on the gospel, uh, heretical teachings, the left and right. So, um, also, I wanted to qualify the other day, or yesterday, I said, if you have if you're a new believer and you've got a YouTube channel and you're teaching, you need to think about it, you know. Um, I don't want to discourage anyone who's contending for grace to take down their channel <clears throat> because we have so few voices contending for the truth and the people who are in the middle are on some of these other channels and they're getting beaten. Um, by the teachings and they have nowhere to turn uh, so we have to keep going what I was saying is if you're not clear on the truth regarding grace that's really what I was getting at and you don't know how to handle the scriptures you should have a channel uh, but if you're true if you're clear on grace, uh, you should consider that you're adding your voice to a cloud of witnesses and give your testimony about grace. Um, just don't set yourself up to be the authority on the Bible, you know. To, and, and it's easy to get into that position because new believers come asking you all kinds of questions and you can answer them to your best ability but be honest with you just watch the tendency to becoming an authority you know where you have to know every answer and you have to be able to answer have a handful of people that you could uh, and books or whatever that you could refer them to and say well this explains it better you know if you feel ill-equipped a lot of times even though we feel ill-equipped, we feel like we have to answer. And then that's where the mess comes in because we don't know in a certain area. There's certain areas that I'm not qualified to cover. I just don't. So that's just, it's a, just a little self-knowledge. I spoke strongly about that. The other thing is don't quench the spirit and despise not prophesying. You know, on the one hand, we have to test the spirits because many false prophets have gone into the world and discern. On the other hand, we have to hold fast to that which is good. Um, and God is, the enemy can only counterfeit what God's truly doing. And God truly is pouring out his spirit and giving dreams. I've had several dreams since I started this channel that I know were from very legitimate and they pointed to grace and they interpret the scriptures rightly. Uh, and I believe in the gifts of the Spirit. So, from my perspective, I think it's important that I qualify. Uh, don't shut down everything that moves out of overcaution. 
but test the spirits. Do they confess Christ, uh, his death, his resurrection? He died for your sins. He came in the flesh, you know. He rose for your justification. That should be the center uh, and theme of prophetic dreams and visions. Um, now he may also be giving, he's also giving dreams, people are having dreams about judgment to come and the tribulation as a warning. But their presentation of it better be followed up with the gospel. So, uh, you know, and I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to set a hard, fast rule. I think just be cautious uh, with dreams and stuff, have a yellow light until you understand the interpretation and you're on good grace footing before you share. But I do believe people do need to share, so I don't want to discourage people from... Don't think I'm, I'm you know... If you're a grace person, please don't take down your channel. Just for that way. Alright, take care.